Season's greetings from Astroborn. It's me, your boy, Paulie. I'm Jason. I'm Derek, and we're back. To put the cheer in your beer. Each day until Christmas, we're reviewing a different beer from the Brewers Advent Calendar 2022. Behind each of these 24 doors is a tasty tall boy of imported German beer. The age-old gift that keeps on giving. Join us once again in the timeless tradition of getting hammered for the holidays. Cheers and Merry fucking Christmas. Now let's drink. Now let's get drunk. Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome back to another episode of 24 Brews of Christmas. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Derek from Ashterborn bringing you day 18 of the Brewers Advent Calendar 2022. It's December 18th, and we are still cruising along on this Christmas calendar challenger. Today, we got a big old wiener. Wiener lager. It's from Eggerer Brewing. Out of Edgerer Brewing, out of Gronschnalkenbach, Bavaria, Germany. What the fuck is that weird letter? Grabkallenbach. Grabkallenbach? Whatever, apparently I don't know shit. The Vienna Lager pours a clear, pale, golden color with a slight head and lacing on the glass. Aroma has slight hops, malt, and floral hints of the taste that follows the nose of hops, malt, and floral flavors. That description's pretty bad. So the aroma and the taste are the same, is what they're saying. Be a lot better if they brewed this bad boy with hot dogs. Make that juicy wiener lager. I don't know. Just sounds like a big old wiener lager. Big fat wiener lager. Cool black can. It's got like a gold wallpaper looking design on it. I do like the can. I know I said I don't like gold. But the gold and black do look pretty cool. That's a pretty cool looking can. I like that a lot. The can art is just super subtle. Black and gold. It's got the white lettering. And it literally just says Wiener Lager. Bunch of little flowers on it. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what that's all about. I've honestly never had a Vienna Lager that I liked. Every home brewer I talk to swears by this beer style. They love Vienna Lagers. They love to make them and brew them. They love to drink them. I don't get it. I don't see the fascination. I don't see the appeal. I never really wanted to brew my own beer. I never really had any desire. I know Derek fucked around with it. I think he made a stout or something once. I don't know, man. It's all chemistry, man. I don't really have any desire to brew my own beer. I, I don't give a shit. I just want to drink it. <laughs> I don't I don't want to know how it's made. Just like hot dogs, you know? You don't want to know how they're made. You just want to eat them. Just like wiener lagers. Before I die of extreme thirst and a hankering for a nice wiener, I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. Very clear. Head looks really good on that one. We got some bubbles, clear, golden, somewhat pale. You know, average looking beer. They're fucking all the same. Let me smell the wiener here, hold on. Does not smell like wiener. Already off to a bad start. Yeah, this wiener is pretty fresh. Smells very malty. Yeah, not much in the way of scent whatsoever. It smells like a, a beer. Floral hints, I, maybe a little bit. I, I, I'm picking up a very, very, very slight floral hint. Not a lot going on. It smells kind of like an English bitter. Can you put some more fucking box and Hefeweizens on the next one, please? Like, come on, man. I think the Germans like their clean, light brews. Prost. Cheers. Nothing like a drag on a nice cold wiener lager. Wow. Dare I say that's an exquisite wiener? As soon as I tasted this beer, as soon as it entered my mouth, it felt like fucking daggers shooting out into my cheeks, into my tongue, into my taste buds. It felt very sharp. I mean, it's hoppy, but I don't know, it's not bad. It's not very good. Huh. That one really grabs you. Kind of acidic. It's like attacking my mouth. That's actually got some flavor. Aftertaste of like a 
Tootsie Roll Pop thing that I don't like. Um, definitely malt forward. I taste a lot of malt, but bitter as well. Not necessarily from a hop note. I don't really taste... I'm not tasting the qualities of like a, a well-hopped beer. I'm tasting something different. I don't know. That's pretty flavorful. I'm trying to think of what that reminds me of. It's like an extremely light half of ice and a little bit. I kind of don't like it. I mean, it's not going to butt its way into the top three, but definitely has an aftertaste that carries on quite a while. This beer is kind of giving me bad vibes. <sighs> yeah, maltiness. I definitely am picking that up. And I, I like that, so that's that's a plus for me. I would probably need like a Vienna lager brewed in Vienna, like from the source, and then this German knockoff to compare them to see if they're really hitting the mark or not. I've had a lot of Vienna lagers brewed in America, which I feel like probably aren't doing it justice. Very malty. That's a malty wiener there. Something in there not agreeing with my palate right now, man. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Something not good. Just doesn't have a great flavor to it. See, if all the golden ones were like this, with slightly different subtleties to them, and there's probably people in the comments like, there are dumbass, but no, serious. Like, there's a lot of light ones that I'm just like, ah, why, 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 next, next, next. They're like, and then this one pops up, and I'm like, man, damn, I can get behind this. I can, I can dissect it, Ugh. get involved with it. There, there's something to actually talk about. Oh, hold on. I mean, all of these beers on the calendar are, are brewed with the same four ingredients, right? That's the law in Germany. Some of these beers are drastically different from each other, while some of them are practically the fucking same. This beer, I feel like is doing something different, but it's kind of steering off into a bad place. For just your standard golden colored ale, I can appreciate that one right there. I don't know, maybe, maybe it is the hops. It's, I can't really put my, put my finger on it. It's fucking something weird. It is a little happy and floral. It's bitey. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of aggressive. I mean, it's not hoppy to the point where I'm like, Ugh. This beer's like that ghost from that Christmas carol. Who wrote that? Bruce Dickinson? This is like the ghost of Christmas present, man. You know, it's like all, it's all jolly and good until the fucking ghost comes. It scares the fuck out of you. <laughs> it's rough around the edges. It'll probably get the job done. Vienna Lagers, I've never been a fan. Maybe that's blasphemous in the fucking beer world. I don't know. Fucking, who gives a shit? I don't know, dudes. I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. For real. That's pretty damn good for what it is. I dig it. I'm not thrilled about this. I'm going to give it a 3.5, man. It's kind of shitty, but... 3.5 is what you're getting out of me this Christmas. On the uh, official Astroborn tasting scale, I'm going to give this... 4.5 plus a bonus point because the name is Wiener Lager and it's funny. So I'm going to give it a 5, even though it doesn't deserve it. That's pretty good. Life is pain and piss, and so is this beer. Get yourself a big can of Wiener. I hope you guys dig it too. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think of this one. Merry Christmas. Hope you get some Wiener for Christmas. And a Merry Christmas to you all. Be back tomorrow with another Astral Brew Beer Review. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope to catch you all tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Take care out there. Happy Christmas, you fucking idiots. Cheers. Yeah.